What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with Droid Modder X. I've been using the HTC 10 for the past couple of weeks as my daily driver device. And previously I was using the Galaxy S7 Edge. I've found that there are a lot of differences between the device, some good, some bad. These are my top five reasons the HTC 10 is better than the Galaxy S7 Edge. Let's go ahead and get started. The first reason, probably the most obvious reason, is HTC's Boom Sound 2.0 speakers. The Galaxy S7 Edge was built to be waterproof and as such, the speaker on that device really suffers. It's super tinny and it gets muffled at times. There's a little bit of distortion when you have super loud volumes and there's little to no bass coming out of that speaker. The same cannot be said for the HTC 10. Sound out of the HTC 10 is really nice, rich, and full. It has a two speaker setup with a tweeter up top and a bass speaker on the bottom. Those two speakers make for a much fuller and richer sound. And while it may not be as loud as previous iterations of boom sound on the M8 and M9, this speaker setup is still much better than the speaker on the Galaxy S7 Edge. The second reason the HTC 10 is better than the Galaxy S7 Edge is the front facing camera. It is the first front facing camera on a flagship device to include optical image stabilization. Let's face it, most of the pictures we take with our phones are selfish pictures or selfie pictures. And what tends to happen sometimes if our hands are not stable, then those pictures turn out to be blurry and we have to delete that photo and retake a photo. With optical image stabilization on the front facing camera, you no longer have to worry about image blur when taking those awesome selfies. My third reason is more of a personal preference, but I'm sure many of you will share the same feelings. I really enjoy the capacitive fingerprint scanner on the HTC 10 a whole lot more than the physical home button fingerprint scanner on the Galaxy S7 Edge. For me, I like to just be able to place my thumb over the button, the capacitive button, and the phone just unlocks rather than having to physically press a button and then hold my finger over the button. So my fourth reason is USB Type-C. USB Type-C is obviously the way of the future. The Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge went with micro USB 2.0. Now there are several reasons they went with that. First off being that USB Type-C is not entirely there yet. There were a few issues with USB Type-C on the HC10 even, with a few people using random chargers that were not the charger the phone came with. The devices were heating up uh, and getting super hot, but with updates that will improve. And I think that the faster data rates and the faster charge rates will make USB Type-C a whole lot better on this phone than micro USB 2.0 on the Galaxy S7 Edge. All right guys, my fifth and final reason the HTC 10 is better than the Galaxy S7 Edge is the UI. So I prefer HTC Sense over Samsung's TouchWiz. Samsung has really cleaned up TouchWiz over the years. I can remember when the Galaxy S5 released with 10 gigabytes of unnecessary extra applications. They've really toned it back quite a bit. HTC has done an even better job with Sense. This is one of the cleanest Android custom skin overlays that's ever been on a device and you've gotta give HTC props for that. Anyways, guys, that about wraps it up for this video of the top five reasons the HTC 10 is better than the Galaxy S7 Edge. I'll be sure to include a link of my Galaxy S7 Edge is greater than the HTC 10 in the description below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.